Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member. This is critically important, and I always think it's interesting to follow Senator Heller because North Dakota's situation couldn't be more different from uh, the situation in uh, Nevada, where they are seeing a, a you know, houses underwater, uh, excess uh, capacity in the market. In North Dakota, we think we need to build about 33% more units by 2025. We, we, but, but, but I wanna, bring the, the subject back because at the very heart of it, every person here who is representing a different situation is telling you that it is absolutely critical that we maintain a role for independent community banks and credit unions. And that when we're all wringing our hands in despair over too big to fail, we're setting policies in Washington, D.C. That are, that are consolidating more and more assets into the larger banks and diminishing the capacity of the smaller community banks to participate in the marketplace. And that has to end. We have increasing homeowner costs in this country. Bigger and bigger percentage of our income is being used to spend, um, to, to pay for our housing. And you know, I'm, I'm a big believer that no matter what happens, if we saw something like this again, even though there isn't an explicit, there would be an implicit. And so we need to be proactive in that direction. And so I really encourage you, I don't mean to sound too preachy here, but I really encourage you to, to send a clear message about what it is that your institutions need, both your private institutions and th that you represent today and the organizations that you represent today. Because without a clear message, that could in fact result in a product that won't accomplish what you know needs to be accomplished for your institutions, but also for the American people.